Hello and welcome back to our little calculator tutorial here. Our next uh, demonstration is going to be done on the uh, cash flow menu and for this one I've chose problem 4 here from the little take home example, something that we can all kind of relate to there. And uh, we're going to perform problem 4A for this guy here. Okay. Now uh, in order to get into our cash flow menus we're going to go ahead and hit that finance and then we're going to choose cash flow menu here. And you can notice right away that uh, I'm already at flow 5 so that means that I probably got some data in there. Real important to clear that out. Now to clear that out we're going to do just like what we did before where we hit this button down here and clear input data here. Then you'll notice that the screen actually says clear the list. We want to choose yes. We want that data gone. Okay. Now down to the meat and potatoes of the problem here. Uh, the problem states that we uh, Let's see here. That you can buy a property today for three million dollars and sell it in five years for four million, but you'll earn no rental income on the property. If the interest rate is eight percent, what is the net present value of the project? So nice, easy one to start off with. So here on the flow menu, we're going to want to uh, enter three million dollars for the first year, right? But you're paying this, so you're going to want to put negative because that's coming out of your pocket there. A lot of people will miss that, so be careful with that. If you're paying up, if you're paying any money out, that's a negative cash flow. Remember that. So we're going to input that. For, uh, for flow one, well, essentially we have zero because there's no rental income. That'll happen one time. And then flow two, again, with zero. That'll happen one time. Flow three, zero. That'll happen one time. Now, flow four, this is when we're actually going to receive, uh, you know, we're, we're actually going to sell the house for the $4 million. Now, it's arguable whether you sell it at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year, you would go into flow four or flow five. But for this generic example, I'm going to go ahead and assume that the beginning of the first year or the, the beginning of year five is when I'm going to go ahead and sell. So I'm going to input the data into flow number four denoting the end of, of year four or the beginning of year five. So I'm going to enter in four million dollars. One more zero. And that hit that input key once more time. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to hit the sorry. We're going to hit the exit key. This is going to bring us into another menu. We will go ahead and hit calc here. Now, once, once we're into our calc menu, we need to go ahead and put in that interest rate. The interest rate for this particular problem, 8%. Now, we're going to go ahead and touch the MPV button, and voila, there's our MPV. Notice that we have a negative MPV. So, just as stated when he worked it out in class, the MPV for this problem is negative. You have a negative MPV, probably not a very good project to go into, at least from a financial aspect. So that is the cash flow menus um, and depending on uh, what sorts of projects you might be working on as far as incremental cash flows, that is how you're going to want to enter in that data on your calculator. And again, when you're done, make sure before you start or stop a problem, it's just a good habit to clear out that menu. Um, it's, it'll save you a lot of time in your calculations and a lot of errors. So that's it for uh, cash flows.